Hi, I'm Dr. Jackson Crawford, and today I'm in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Mountains figure large in my life and history, and probably no mountains in the world have such a famous and distinctive skyline as the Tetons in western Wyoming. The plain to their east is called Jackson Hole, and the town at the south end is Jackson, although I and many other people use Teton, Jackson, and Jackson Hole more or less interchangeably. One of the most famous vantage points for seeing the Tetons is uh, this overlook where Ansel Adams took a famous photograph over the Snake River. But everywhere that you look in Jackson Hole or near it, the Tetons dominate your view, often mantled by clouds or reflected in the clear waters. They may be covered in snow or, in the fall, carpeted by the golden aspens. But let's get closer. Although the Tetons are most famous and perhaps most striking from a distance, hiking in the Tetons can lead you to incredible vistas of hidden waterfalls. There are also many beautiful rivers and streams. And of course, you can get close to wildlife like this bighorn ram licking my truck a few years ago. There's also a lot of other famous wildlife, although you shouldn't get too close to them, like moose. Buffalo, of course, are easy to find throughout the park. Although it can be difficult to get very close to them, and you should always recall that they can be dangerous. And also, of course, pretty entertaining. Elk are abundant throughout Jackson Hole, especially during the fall and winter. And of course, there's also smaller, though no less charismatic species like the marmot. The fairly ubiquitous Uinta ground squirrel with its alarm calls that echo throughout the plains. And this ferocious tiny creature, the pika. Pikas are rabbit-like animals that gather hay during the summer for their dens and are fiercely territorial. Don't forget this is bear country if you want to think about something else that could be fiercely territorial. It can be difficult to find bears, but if they startle you, it is a memorable experience. Humans have brought horses to the valley, which I find make one of the most beautiful vistas when they're close to the mountains. And of course, the barn on the so-called Mormon Row is a famous human-created site. As are the cabins built for the movie Shane in the early 1950s, which now form an attractive ghost town-like vista on the east end of Jackson Hole. From beautiful Wyoming, I'm wishing you all the best.